Welcome back to all my Nakama out there. We are about to do our predictions for One Piece Chapter 1082. We don't have any idea what's about to happen, but we're going to try and see if we can predict the future a little bit here. But before all that, will you please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that help our metrics grow so that we can continue making really fun. Making good shit for Making you. good shit. Shit, but it will be good. Really good. Except for that shit unboxing video, if you've seen that crap. Fun times! <laughs> We're had by none. But anyway. Uh, Alex! Huh? Go ahead and tell us what you think's gonna happen in chapter 1082 and beyond. Yeah, 1082. Uh, I've got down no more Alkiji. Uh, you think he's done? No more Law. Uh, maybe more Egghead. We're all gone to you. That's it? Yeah, that's all I've got today. <laughs> what the f that's where I think the story's going. The now, crash let me happening. just let me just make sure to clarify. Yeah. So, Alkiji and Law, you think? Do you think they're going to come back later? I'm assuming. Alkiji is <laughs> done in the fight. Law is done for like till so, we get to a new island. Till he's necessary. Till Luffy gets to a new island, and then maybe we get some more Egghead. You know, we go back there and see what's up. Law's done until he needs to give his wife up for Luffy. Which, you know, if you want to say that on your predictions, you may. But yeah, no more Alkiji for uh, the fight. Uh, no more Law till next island. And then maybe more Egghead coming up to Nate 2. Uh, you know what? I'll add one for fun. For fun. For fun. I think it's very plausible um, that we could have <laughs> Katarina <laughs> Devante uh, making herself look like... Uh, an elder star lord. Can I try reading this to the audience? Uh, for <laughs> power over the <laughs> seraph sims and oh shit, I messed that up. And goddamn Luffy will be huge. Um, like giant sized and then crush the um <laughs> Brain of evil Vegapunk. Can I read the actual translation there? For us. Can I see that? Sure, go ahead, yeah. So here's the literal translation. Yeah. For power over the Serpsis, <laughs> I am a very plus Scabnola, Katanak, Dipvons, <laughs> making herself lock for like <laughs> an elder Star Lord, Godmadend, Luffy will huge. My size crush, the Brian of Equi Vegapunk. <laughs> So that's my predictions for chapter 1082. Looking forward to seeing all that coming true. <laughs> Whoever wants to go next may. I will. Get. <laughs> may I first say, you need to go back to elementary school and learn how to type. I think I learned in second grade. <laughs> yeah, so you need to go back to elementary school. That's elementary school. school. <laughs> it was a good time. Keep and I up. enjoyed it. There was a battleship. Right? And you had to shoot the words by typing I, the correct... I it was feel, such a fun program. I feel like we need an exorcist after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, should go back and uh, play that game some more. I... I was really good at that game. Oh, you played it too? It's something similar, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, true, true. What do you think is going to happen in 1082? You know what? I have decided. <laughs> I'm no longer going to predict what's going to happen in the next chapter. I'm just going to predict... Where this current plotline story is gonna go. Okay. It's fair. A little because more comprehensive. I don't fucking know anymore. I don't know. Brock's never known. So, prediction for where the Garpe Okiji fight's gonna go. Mm. Um, is it over? I don't think so fully. Um, I do think that, I think Aokiji's gonna make it last a little bit longer just to make it seem like he put in an honest fight to mm. be able to get Garp and them off the island. Um, as for what's going on with Law, I don't know if Law's actually gonna die. I can see why he could die. I also don't know if he will, because I think his power will be very beneficial in the final fight. 
Absolutely. Because, I mean, seriously, in the final fight, Law just needs to, like, switch souls with some people and be, like, they're out for the count because, you know, they don't know how to use the other people's powers. He turns like, Luffy into Blackbeard, and that's how Blackbeard Luffy becomes the Pirate King. No. They both win. No, okay. But switching Blackbeard's soul into someone else. He switches Lafitte and Blackbeard, and then Lafitte and Blackbeard is like. Why wouldn't he have done that during this fight? We gotta remember, though, that he can only affect a certain level of hockey. Yeah. That is true. Couldn't do shit with, you know. Big Mom and Kaido. Exactly. So, so at least Blackbeard falls into the same At least, room. at least Emperor level, we know he can do whatever he wants with them. And he but himself. he could take out some of Blackbeard's crew mm -hmm. if he had backup. Oh, and that's probably why he didn't do it here because you know he had to manage Blackbeard and his crew. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, so I don't know if Law's actually gonna die though. I think he is too valuable of an asset to the Straw Hats and to me. And to Alex mm -hmm. for him to die. Yes. But he um, does everything for Alex. Thank God he does. Yeah. God As for what Blackbeard is doing for his plan with trying knowing that he recruited Aokiji, I still think Aokiji like showed up there with a purpose to try and get on Blackbeard's crew for whatever reason. Mm. Um and it, he just made it somehow managed to manipulate it so that it was Blackbeard's idea to recruit him. He um, inceptioned him. Yeah. Okay, can I ask you a question? Maybe. Is it too much of a reach to say that, and we don't have precedent because we don't know how fleet admirals become fleet admirals. Is it too much of a precedent to say that Alkiji and Akiinu fought and Alkiji lost the leg in the fight to give credence to the fact that he was done with the Marines so that he could end up on Blackbeard's crew because Aki Inu wanted him there. Or is that too meta? <laughs> that would mean that Aokiji had to have uh, agreed, unless it is they just said it was a fight because they couldn't decide. That is entirely plausible. It'd be a huge brain It move. would be huge, but that would also mean that Aki Inu had to have that plan. Right. Unless it was really Okiji's plan to say, how about you take the position and when it really should have gone to him? I can't work under you, Aki Inu. Let me take a sword position and go watch over this crew. But it's not going to make sense if I'm completely undamaged. Yeah. So it would mean to make it look like you beat me fair and square and I was done with the Marines. And Alkiji's the head of sword. Dun dun dun! Absolutely plausible because, like, sword is the Literal Marines yeah. that do not have that attachment and they can be cut off anytime. Like yeah. Alkiji's whole story is. Yeah, that is. That is completely plausible. Um, not a far reach at all, actually. Why don't you just articulate with your own predictions? You want me to read mine again? <laughs> I can. No. Um, <laughs> predictions after that. I still, I'm still feeling like Garp's gonna show up at Egghead. Um, Retreat or in like successive beating back the Blackbeard Pirates? You think? Oh no! I already said that. I think Okiji's gonna continue fighting, mm -hmm. just to as an act. Really sell it. You yeah. Know? That. Oh no! Garp was too strong for me. Um, <clears throat> or something. Let someone get in a cheap shot oh, to yeah. beat him. Like, like Luffy he's gonna did play it, it up. Yeah. Um, Best actor. Or, you know, he just throws his line. I don't, I don't think he would, because I think if he is kind of undercover, he wouldn't want to throw that away. Because he could be letting Akinu know what's... Oh, yeah. That's why they're not going after Blackbeard as he, much, because they have someone on him. He has to legitimately seem like he lost so that he doesn't lose yeah. his position in that group. Right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. mm. I still think he's also going to somehow help the Straw Hats in a way. Maybe not directly. Mm. Just him commenting about the traumatized eyes of a little girl. Like, the fact that that made such an impact on him. Oh, yeah. I do not see him as 
like knowing that sh Robin is with the Straw Hats, I do not see him and his sense of justice saying, nope, you guys are wrong. Like I see him pulling a similar thing with Robin in that he's going to somehow help them indirectly, like letting Dark go to Egg. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. is if he is still part of the military, he'd, he'd know what's going part on. Part of, right. Yeah. He can be cut loose anytime if he's the head of sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, do I have any other, are there any other storylines going on in this chapter that I need to make predictions on? I don't think so. Gosh, this one? No. We actually only chapter. went to two places. Yeah, really. I think it's just those two main ones. So, yeah. Ikiji's going to continue fighting. To put we go, on a show. We go back to that, you think? I said I am not saying oh, what's happening next gotcha. chapter. That's I right. have no idea. That's right. From whenever we see this again, whether it be next chapter or in 10 chapters or 50 chapters, whatever, mm -hmm. Aokiji is going to continue fighting, but eventually lose so that Garp and Kobe and them can go. I'm predicting that they are going to somehow make it to Egghead and help Luffy somehow. Um, and that Law, I don't think Law's gonna die. I think he is too pivotal of a per, like player in the final war. We love him too much. Um, I don't know what Blackbeard's gonna do from here. Who's gonna go make his island a country? Yeah. <laughs> With Kobe, yeah, it's the reason. I don't think Blackbeard is gonna make it back to his island before Garp leaves. Mm. He won't get to connect. Watch as I'm wrong, but he, he won't get to connect with Garp. Is what you're saying? We no. don't see Blackbeard versus Garp in the near future. I don't think so. I, not, not yet. I hope you're right because I really. I, I hope so too because I don't mean. I don't really want to see that I fight don't go either. down. Yeah. Brock, 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 Brock. Then. Well. Sorry, I have one more. Uh, at oh, some yeah. point, at some point, Chopper and Beppo reconnect on Beppo's use of the oh, rumble I balls. I certainly hope. And they're so. gonna formulate them and figure out, oh, it works this way for you. And they're gonna, Chopper's gonna make a uh, mink enhancement drug company. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he's is, gonna is, also is contribute Chopper, to this. Is, Welcome to Chopper's is, <laughs> mink. Is, is Chopper going to open a Los, Los Pollos Hermanos? <laughs> Chopper. Is Chopper going to be Gus? It's Chopper's dream. <laughs> That's how Chopper's going to contribute to getting money for the I love Straw it. Hats. I love that. I love that that's or Chopper's Or bettering. Way. I mean, that... It, it's medicine, but it's also drugs in a sense. <laughs> yeah. But also, that would be also, like, inc also, also incredibly helpful in the final oh. war if they have the minks on their side. No need for moons. Like, you got the chopper drugs. Yeah. I mean, True. even any uh, minks who have never ex gone to Sulong for yeah. or anything. You know, if we really do want the minks help in the final uh, saga, in like the final war or whatever, mm -hmm. if Zunisha shows up, it would be ultimate retribution for like Zunisha to go down. I don't know, somehow, and all the minks are just popping pills ready for the fucking retribution of a fucking lifetime. Yeah. Because, really, why can't we Lelucia Zunisha? Right? If we can find moving, it. It's a moving target. Right. Yeah, if they can find Zunisha, though. Right? Wouldn't that be the most tragic fucking thing? Unless it's just teleported somewhere else. Which would mean they could teleport Into space. it back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I feel anyway, like Lucia. I'm getting off. I'm Sorry really hoping for... Lucia is reversible because, God yeah. damn, dude, that's that's some crazy ass shit you're doing there. So Brock, what do you think is gonna happen? Or Brock. Um. Uh, so, short term, next chapter. Uh, start off with, I think. Well, I was surprisingly correct. Last chapter, uh, last chapter when I said that we're going straight back to the fight with Garp. Oh yes, I wasn't. I, I even I had my doubts, but you know, it felt like it was on its way. Um, I think there's less of a chance now, but I still, I think there's still a very good chance, just because it, it seems to flow so well storyline wise. Super flowy. It's very flowy and Billy. 
When when Oda cuts off in the middle of something, it's usually a, a nice solid oh, or yeah. something's about to happen. Mm -hmm. um, With that in mind, but I, I but I I, the dick. I I do think that's how it is. Mm. Like when he <laughs> jumps away. Yeah, I do I do think there's a good chance of of this keeping up until we hit a really good actual stopping point. Stopping point, whether it be. Um, Someone shows up, or whether they all get away, or it's left to be like, oh shit, uh, Kizaru's getting, or not like Kizaru, Aokiji. No, please, I, we can have Kizaru. Aokiji's getting serious now, and so is Garp, <laughs> and things, are, and <laughs> shit's about to happen. Or, uh, well, we might, or or I think we'll cut over to Egghead. I think I think those are the two yeah. potentials. Um, and I think if we do cut away to Egghead, we're not coming back to this until we see the end, like with Law's fight, until we see the end of what happened. True. Um, I mean, if we cut back to Egghead, we might be, you know, closing in on that thing that happened thing, that exactly. day. Right? Um, and also, in terms of Aokiji, or Kuzan in this case, hmm. I can totally, you know, he, he just gives me the, the, the vibe of this guy who just doesn't know what to do with himself. And when he tries to figure that out, it gets his leg lost for one and it puts someone he knows is mentally unstable in power um and I think I think I, I honestly believe ever since he's worked with uh, Sakazuki back in his vice admiral days when he Ohara Ohara he destroyed an entire ship of innocent people shit of the off chance one person escaped you know I, I think he knew he couldn't trust that man to lead I honestly it and honestly, I'm I'm of the opinion that the more strong guys that go over to the bad side for the final fight, the more interesting the fight will be. Mm. Um, so I would not be surprised nor against it if Aokiji was legitimately on on the crew of Blackbeard, not for the sake of the military, not for the sake of Blackbeard, but for his own freedom's sake. I think right now. I think I think I, he's genuine. I, I think he's genuine, but I don't think he's genuinely loyal to Blackbeard. I think he's. I think Blackbeard was the first one to offer him a chance of finding his own path since he lost it. Yeah. Um. And he, he I, that honestly gave me the feeling because he's such a he's such a lackadaisical wayward soul, you yeah, know. You know and it wouldn't surprise me if he just for the longest time he just went where the tides brought him because it's lazy justice. He's gonna yeah. go with the flow. And like this is the first time he's attempted to like try and do it himself, you know, try and find his own flow. And so it, it, I think it would be a really cool twist of fate if this was the first step to that. But also knowing him, I think it would be cool that along the way of like this big old thing he's caught between, he's like, "What am I so worried about?" And like joins up by the end, or maybe after being beaten by someone, or yeah. be, having the sense beaten into him, True. and he's like, "Why are you worried so much about this?" You know, like I could see that happening, mm. and maybe I think that'd be a really cool growth arc. Because, like, who says there's nothing to say that older characters can't grow? You know, and he really isn't the oldest. He's he's not, and he's, he's the youngest. He's, he's only in his forties. You know, and like, I I can see him being in kind of a state of kind of inner turmoil where he's like, because I, I I personally don't think he was waiting for Blackbeard. I think this is I I think this is where he wound up. And I think right now, what he's doing is genuine. Now, I do think he still has a soft heart for the people he's fighting. True. So I don't think he'll go out of his way to kill them. I don't think he's going to try and kill anyone in them. I think the only person he'll go serious against is Garp because he knows how strong Garp is. Um, but I don't think he wants to take the lives of people who are he knows are good and innocent. Will he kill Garp to do that? I don't know. I can, I can see him... You know, honestly, it sounds like he's he was close with Garp. Like he called himself his protege. Yeah. So they probably served together for your many years. So honestly, that's one of those things where it's like they they're probably close enough where it's like regardless of what happens, the respect is there. Mm. You know. So even if death is expected, there's not going to be hard feelings over it. I mean, he does say at Marine Corps he, that uh, he owes Garp a favor for oh. you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, he said that well, he said that when they first met Luffy too. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, your old, old man Garp a favor, right? You know, and uh, maybe this is his favorite. Who knows? But like, letting him go could be. That but no, I right now I I just take I, I think it'd be really cool if this was all just genuine self reflection and pathfinding for Kizaru, 
Oh, sorry, I keep saying Aokiji. No, it's okay. But he's already, he's over <laughs> somewhere else right now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> literally tea serving. Yes. Um, no, I think Aokiji, I, right now I think, he's, I think he's being genuine. Um, I do think he's going to try and make it so he doesn't have to kill anybody or capture anybody. Or if he does capture anybody, he's going to try and make it so they don't get killed. You know, could he just take out all of Sword? Do you think if he takes down Garp? Yes. And deliver them to Blackbeard? I think he. I don't know. I don't know. I can see him pulling a Robin with them. He's like, you and know, because he because you obviously see that now that he doesn't have like the guise of justice, like having him maintain this face, mm -hmm. he expresses a serious regret over what he did to Robin and Saul. Sure. Like I was not expecting that. If anything surprised me from this chapter, that did. Because I was not expecting that just utter, just release of like, I gave this kid this trauma she didn't deserve, you know? And it's like, and you get to see a bit more where his heart is actually at. And that he actually comes from a, a decently good position. He's a cold, uh, he's an ice user who has a warm fucking heart. Yeah. And I honestly, I honestly, I don't, I don't think he's in this out of loyalty to the Blackbeard Pirates. I think Blackbeard is the first one to give him a hand to take and say, hey, Let's get out there and do some freedom shit, you know? You can do your shit on my crew. Exactly. I think I think he happened to give him the... And Blackbeard's a good... He's a good seller. And by all accounts, Blackbeard's the type of guy, despite what you know about him, you might come to like him because he's just one of those guys that's like... he, he He's one of those guys that... I don't know. I can't just place him as just a bad guy. He's obviously a bad guy. But like, I can also see sitting down with him in a neutral space and having a drink with him. He's he's the dreams will never die guy. I know, but he's also the he's guy also, who's he's also a schemer. Ace's death. He's also a schemer. He, he is he is both the worst person in the room and one of the best. Yeah, and you have such a hard time feeling you know just one way. Like him. honestly, I do think to an extent he does care about his crew. He cares about he cares about them. Absolutely. Like he would obviously choose his own life over theirs, but while that isn't an issue, yeah. they'd be like, hey, whoa, don't touch my guys. He could have sacrificed them to take Boa's power. Exactly. But he didn't. No, yeah, at every point, he was like, I need these guys, even if it's even if it's just pure usury. So, you know... Man's gray. It's, it's, it, and it, that's what makes him such an interesting villain. You know? Yeah. And, but... It, but anyway, yeah, I, I think Aokiji right now is being totally genuine, at least in his thoughts and his ideals. Uh, maybe, I don't know what he's planning with his actions, but we'll see. I don't think that's the end of the fight, though. That would be really... Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Like, I, I think Garp is I think Garp is strong. I don't think he can one-hit an Admiral. I agree. One-shot an Admiral. Um, I agree. He could fake it. That's yeah. No, I, I get no. And, and, and by the way, that's not to say that you, what you're saying isn't totally plausible either. True. Um, I think you're right. I think you're. I think you could definitely be correct. Um, but on also Law's part, I don't think Law is going to die. I, I think I, I'm a like so. Kid and Law, they had such screen time and such development in Wano that to just be killed off would be just horrible and like in with chat in literally one or two chapters I, I i could totally see that you know releasing this deluge of like oh he's killing characters off just to shorten the storyline so as to write as much and i don't think i i don't see them dying you know first of all i don't see them dying and also i don't i don't see them dying at all in the story but if they are going to die it's not going to be to like the very end in my end i think I mean, they're out of the race to the one piece i don't think they're dead and honestly i i their prides are too big, man. They're gonna get back on that race, dude. Like, I mean, it may take forever. I think it's Luffy's journey at the end of the day. Oh, it's always been Luffy's journey. Like, uh, that... I, I think this is Oda telling us that you know he is the only contender. I, wh what I what I say is, I think they'll be coming back, and I think they're going to think themselves as contenders in the race. But I think this goes to show that we're at the point where Luffy has to face his last, really, two of his biggest challenges, which are Shanks and Blackbeard. True. Um, who also have the same amount of ponderlifts as him. Exactly, and he probably needs to get another step up or at least master his current abilities to meet them in battle. I will say, he'll be pissed at Blackbeard. I don't know if he'll be pissed at uh, Shanks. I don't think he'll be pissed at him. No, for t doing that to Law, if he finds out about what he did to Law. Oh, yeah. Kid, Kid oh, different. Sure. I don't know. Well, I mean, well, I mean, oh, he'll, I mean, he'll, he hates Shaq. He hates Blackbeard already. He hates. That, that, that's already moved. I don't like, know who he hates more. But I think it'll be, it, I think if it were flip flop, Blackbeard doing something to Kid and Shanks to Law. Oh, Luffy would still care. He has a nickname for him and everything. He does, but it wouldn't be as. He, 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 he sees himself as a friend to Jaggy by the He's end of Wano. He's way closer to Law. 
It's yeah. it's one yeah. side it's one sided, but True. Luffy's the type of person to make himself your friend whether you want it or not. I think Kid respects true. him. I if, think if, kid, if 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 Kid if Kid were to get stabbed by Blackbeard in front of his eyes, Luffy would get pissed. Oh yeah. No no I think I think I think that's just how big Luffy's heart is. He has enough in it for people who have Vegeta kind of like energy for him because just how <laughs> that's how I see it is yeah. he he's the Vegeta to his Goku type yeah. thing. Goku will always be Vegeta and, Go and Goku he got angry over Vegeta getting killed. And I feel, and you know, and he, he had no reason to. Vegeta always treated him with contempt and disdain. Oh, yeah. And Luffy, he, and that's the thing. Luffy only gives nicknames to people he wants to remember, really. And that is true. And Jaggy's one of those people he wants to remember. I think I think he legitimately sees him as a, a fun guy to fight next to and fight against, you know? Sure. I, so I, I definitely think he'd get angry over it. I But I think in the case of Shanks, he knows Shanks wouldn't do it out of Malice. Malice. He did that out of necessity to protect people around. He him. was protecting his friends the same way Luffy would. Yeah. If Jaggy was coming at him. And his I mean, friends. hell, I often make the I often make the assumption. I often say that, you know, kids not mad at what happened to him, because no. he's 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 the guy who said, you know, if you're afraid to die in these seas, yes, yes. you should you shouldn't come. Yeah. And I think he fully believes that about himself as well. I don't think, because I think I told you this, Alex, but like when Kaido beat, uh, when Kaido beat him down. He didn't like make excuses about it. He got back up. He was like, oh, I'm going to get my revenge. Yeah. So, I mean. And he took out Big Mom with law. Exactly. Um, but I, I got off there. But, you know, I don't I don't think either of them are dead. I think they're going to come back. I mean, there's a lot of people I think are going to come back. Let me just be real. But, you know, I think it's just going to be one big, like, <laughs> I keep using the word deluge. But oh. one big deluge of returning I mean, characters who are going to oh. make this last saga a wonderful o mess. Oda has said the final war will make Marine Ford feel tiny. Oh, I believe it. And I agree with the shit he's setting up. You know, and like, here's the thing. I know people, specifically in the room, they're, they're, on, the, they're on the train that, uh, <laughs> that Big Mom and Kaido are dead, but honestly, I think it's gonna come down to the enemy of my enemy, dude. And I think Kaido is just gonna be happy to see Joy Boy flying around. He's gonna help him fight a war that he's been waiting for sent he's been waiting for his entire life you know i'd be mad at it i think i think it would make perfect sense for them to be there wouldn't be mad at you know it. but like obviously on a lower pedestal than luffy and the main oh, players yes. but anyways you know okay so there's that um and i i do see the worst i see happening with uh garp and kobe and them is blackbeard returns mm. And Garp gets captured slash killed. I don't think the younger I think the younger generation, regardless, will survive and escape. They'll, Garp will sacrifice it. If, if, if the worst comes to worst, Garp will sacrifice, but I'm gonna be on that constant hope wagon of he's not gonna die. I don't think Blackbeard wants him dead. I think he wants something from Garp, personally. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm seeing a I'm, I'm seeing Aokiji is serious about his intentions, but doesn't want to like actually kill the people he's fighting. Um, and then I think everyone in Sword slash everyone who's there is gonna get away. Yeah. Um, or it's just gonna become further mess on the island. True. Um, and then I think next chapter is gonna be either continuation of what's happening now, or we're gonna finally go back to uh, Egghead, and we're not gonna see this till probably after Egghead's done, because I feel like we're getting into like the climactics of Egghead, where all the people are gonna start arriving on the island. Have we not set a fucking precedent for the narrator mentioning an event? Yes, exactly. Oh God. Um, and yeah, uh, what All I, that said. Anything else I... I don't know. Do hit in the chapter? <laughs> Besides outside the chapter? <laughs> um, I think you got it. Okay, cool. Last but certainly not least... Bark! Katarina and Devon is going to disguise herself as a Elder Star. She's going to take control of the Seraphim. She's going to blame so Luffy. I'm glad we agreed. I was the one who came up with that theory, so you know. What? Yeah. We were talking chapters ago. Go watch the videos. We all talked about that. I mean, you and I came up yes. with that. But I'm just, I'm just saying, like, why, why, why? We still agree. We still agree on that. Mm. Uh, anyway, Luffy's going to somehow get blamed. Uh, that's going to start the fucking war um i hope i think we're gonna get an egghead update next chapter but also if we don't uh we're gonna see what the fuck dragon's doing 
Because I think it's high time to figure out if Dragon is the man on the black ship marked by flames. He's definitely on a blackish ship. So, yeah. um, Okiji's not done. Not sure which side he's on, if he's trying to throw the fight or if he's trying to, you know, actually kill Garp. Still not sure about that, but he's not done. Um, Law is on his way to a date with Destiny. Um, he's going to die at some point in the near future. He's going to use his immortality power on Monkey D. Luffy or somebody in that vicinity of Egghead. We will see. Um, yeah. That's that's what I think's gonna start happening in the next little bit. Uh, Blackbeard's going to make a retreat to Egg uh, to Hachinosu, full oh. head. Um, by the time he gets there, Garp will be gone. So yeah, that's uh, that's about. All if I Garp gets away, do you think Blackbeard punishes Alkiji? Or does he kind of just sweep it under the rug and go, Ah, you did your best, boy. I might punish him. Might take his fruit? Nah. Someone else says ice time the next nah. time the Blackbeard shows I don't. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... I Like I said, I think Blackbeard could beat him, but I think he'd still be very wary of Garp. Under the same theory that Aokiji was the one to suggest going after Pudding instead of Robin, uh, I don't think... One fuck up outdoes, you know, one thing that, in theory, is getting them closer to their goal. Mm. So, because also, Jesus Burgess should be dead like a million times over. Oh, God, if if one fuck up's all it takes, wrecked by Sabo. Yep. Fucking wrecked by Dragon. Yep. Lost. Fucking wrecked by Law. Lost, but the, he's okay. lost the Mare Mare enemy. Lost them. Yep. He couldn't get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why he's not. That's why he's not. Vice Captain. Anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So if he would kill Aokiji for, you know, losing Kobe, then, you know, the Mara Mara and a bunch of other things are probably a little bit more important than pink haired Brad over there who isn't even gonna guarantee that they get country. I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. Dude, that. who knows? Anyway. That is the weirdest shit. Um even after the explanation about Sword, he's still like, ah well still try. We're still gonna try! What? What are you doing? <laughs> you are a freaking enigma. He's a freak. He's so strange. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, they're going to let you into the reverie, Blackbeard. Yeah. You're going to be in the next meeting with all leaders in four years. What are you... Hey, if he kills Wap Wapple at it, I'm good. It, yes. Yes. That's the third fruit. That's his third fruit. The Munch Munch Fruit. <laughs> and with that... I think we're good. I think we're done. Um, yeah, oh if you enjoyed God. this, just leave a comment. Uh, like, like the video. Oh, no, and good. if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, comment. But otherwise, comment. we will see you either next Friday or Saturday when we film this. Uh, our uh, reactions and review of chapter 1082. Do check out other videos. They will be coming. They are coming. We have a Patreon. Also coming. With good benefits. Good. Dental. dental! Just kidding, we don't do dental. We do do healthcare. Just kidding, don't do that. Foxy for the win. See you next yes. time.